Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Evander Holyfield and Iron Mike Tyson. Evander Holyfield's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. Mike Tyson's making his way to the ring with a determined giddy-up in his step. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is 10 rounds. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Teddy, a prime Mike Tyson here has so many KO1s sprinkled across his record. Do you expect those kind of fireworks early on here? Yeah, for a couple reasons. He understands the history. He's a history student. He likes the legacy. He wants to be like Jack Dempsey. All those fighters of the past where he's ferocious. And also, he wants to send a signal to future opponents that you should not get in the ring with him. Holyfield with a huge left. Left to the body. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. And he's holding. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Breathe. Got a fast fighter on one side here, Teddy, against a high motor guy on the other side. A guy that'll be there working all night long. What kind of fight do you expect? Well, I think what you want if you're the fast fighter is you want to relax a little bit, not go out of the shoot too fast early. Keep it nice and steady and control range a little bit. That's a stinging right hand by Mike Tyson. Cut is below the eye. He's going to have to really watch out for that. You don't want to damage that area. Come on, kid. Monster. What a good headshot. The hook landed by Evander Holyfield. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Take yourself. Oh, a huge hook to the body. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is that for hers. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that. So far, so good. Evander Holyfield's jammed by an uppercut. Holyfield with a big uppercut. Nice solid left hand scored by Evander Holyfield. And 
that's the end of round one. Tyson's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. He bucks just like that. You're gonna take this one. There you go. Start of a fresh round, but I'll tell you this, Teddy. I don't know that we're going to see the end of this round the way he was damaged. No, I would be surprised. I don't know that he could continue or that the referee would allow him to. Little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Tyson's blocked by a hook to the body. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Mike Tyson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. Holyfield's punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. able to connect with the uppercut. It's a good way to protect the midsection. Mike Tyson's eye is really a mess now due to that cut. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, I assume. You know, and that's a key word, assume. And a lot of people, a lot of fans do assume that, that you start aiming at that bullseye, so to speak. But I don't believe in that, because now all of a sudden you throw yourself off a little bit. You start pitching punches to that exact spot instead of just fighting your fight, instead of just letting the jab go in the general direction of the head, set up the other punches. You don't want to get carried away for looking to pinpoint that exact spot. Digging in with a left to the gut. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. <laughs> Snapping hook by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Well done, Holyfield, left hand. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you palm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Mike Tyson's right hand scores well. And now he's targeting upstairs. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. Evander Holyfield's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Nice work to the midsection with the left. And that's the end of round two. Mike Tyson's in control of this fight, scoring the knockdown in that last round, now trying to carry some of that momentum through. Well, right now, he's, we're going to find out if he's a finisher. And promoters, fans, they love finishes. Networks, they love finishes. Right now, he has a chance to show that's what he is. Come on, breathe deeply. Inhale. Get some air in your lungs, right? You're fighting his game plan. Box intelligently for me, all right? Come on, you're more intelligent than this. Let's go, let's go. As he starts this fresh round, coming off a round in which he was knocked down, we often look at his legs. But sometimes even more telling was the disposition and the way that he and his corner acted in between rounds. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point, Joe, because if the corner's not confident, they're not calm, if they show panic, they're cool. Mike Tyson snapped by a right... Wow! Well, we've seen Mike Tyson in a spot like this before. Remember, he once wrote...
throws up off the canvas against Buster Douglas, only to be floored again. Can he do it here? One, two, three, four, five. Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. Mike Tyson's right hand scores well that time. Crashes home with the uppercut. Tyson's making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. And bang and away he goes. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. Holy Fields back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Oh, a big shot. The hook lands to the body. Tyson's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, <laughs> you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combination. He's not getting off. A well-placed hook from Mike Tyson. Up top with a quick hook. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Uppercut by Evander Holyfield. I shake it off. And this round comes to an end. Racing come, racing come, right? How you feel? He's counter punching. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. You have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. We start round number four. Tyson's up two rounds to one, according to your card, Teddy. But if you're a backer of his, you can't feel all that comfortable knowing he's already been down in this fight. And more important than the backers is him, the fighter. He can't feel too comfortable. He has to stay right on his piece and cues. Holyfield sticking to what we've always known of him, Teddy. The style hasn't changed, even though he was knocked down earlier. You know, a lot of trainers would say, hey, they pat him on the back. They say, there you go, kid. You know, stay with your identity. Just make sure that you correct a couple little things you need to correct. Tyson's putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss.
And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Nice strike after catching one by a Vander Holyfield. Tyson's a brawler, right, Teddy? Yeah, exactly. Is that the style that you think is going to carry him through? Because it's working out so far. Yeah, if he can keep it going this way, you know, he's going to be happy. He wants to keep his opponent in this kind of mindset. Right now, he's got his opponent angry. I know that sounds funny, but he wants to keep him angry because he's not thinking. He's fighting his fight. Defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. He got hit, but he sends it right back. And this round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two Aspen and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Strong uppercut, he comes right back with it after taking one. Tyson's showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Big left hand from Evander Holyfield. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. The 
Boxing 101. Jab, followed by the straight. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. This guy's going to win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, parry it away and you'll catch him, okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch him. Okay, listen. You can... So as the bell sounds, we put to bed the first half of this fight, and we are underway with a new round. Good solid one-two combo by Evander Holyfield. One-two, one-two. Yeah, good work. This is really solid defense by Mike Tyson. You see how he has his arms up in that peekaboo position, but by doing so, he's not allowing any of his opponent's punches to get in. Gets rid of that body shot. Tyson's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. How about that left hand? All right, let's do it. Keep pushing. Comes right back with a shot of his own. He comes back with the left hand again. with that headshot. One, two, one, two. Comes right back at him with a left hand. You need to cover up. You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up! He's almost done. You had him that round. You're in control. Next round. Let's keep busy. Yeah, I need that. I'll throw that away. Are you going to let your hands go? You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw... Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Get 
at him with a left hand. Job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Mike Tyson. Defense, more defense. Nice work with the overhand right. Holyfield's not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary, not much movement at all. No, not at all. Oh, that's gotta hurt. A Vander Holyfield battering beaten. I don't know that this fight's gonna continue. Fight is over. Tyson's in prime form. Power surge here. Not.